All right, this tutorial is going to teach you how to create um, symbols. Uh, those are generally movie clips and buttons. So I'm just going to show you how to quickly make a button. Um, usually you create a shape uh, so that the user can see where they need to click. Um, and usually you put an outline on it, which is a stroke. And then you make the color something lighter. So in this case, I'm going to go with uh, this light gray color. And then I'm going to just draw a square in the middle of my stage. And I'm going to grab my text tool. And I'm going to write next because... Next buttons are uh, pretty common. Um, it's gray. We don't want to make it gray. So double click it, go over here to color and then make it black. Um, we also want to shrink it down a little bit so that it's a bit smaller and sort of fits inside of our box. So I'm going to drag that down. Doesn't really matter too much about the fact that um, this thing's a bit big, but we're going to shrink it down so that it fits. Make sure it's not dynamic text. Make sure it's static text. Um, and now what you got to do is either single click, single click holding shift and then single click again. Double click, sorry. Um, but the best way to do it is to highlight everything, um, right click, convert to symbol, um, and then make sure you choose button um, and then call it next BTN uh, because it's the next button. Press OK. Um, and now that you've made a next button, this can have action script associated with it. So we'd give it an instance name up here. We might call it next BTN1. Um, notice I didn't make it exactly the same as the name of my object in my library, which is the generic template now of this button, which we have created. Um, we've called it next BTN one, uh, which will make sense a little bit later on if you watch the future tutorials. Um, the other thing that we want to do is add interactivity to this button. So if we double click it, um, you'll notice we have up, over, down, and hit. Up being what it looks like when your mouse isn't touching it. Over is when you roll over. Down is what happens when you press it, and hit is the area that is clickable. So we're going to use F6 on our keyboard a few times until we fill in all those boxes and now we're going to make a change so on over um, we're going to click on the gray box which we created before um, and we're going to make that a different color so i'm going to choose uh, i don't know this pale green color um, don't don't go with me if you want you know amazing contrasting colors because i just make terrible choices um, so up is gray over looks like that down when we press it don't really have to change it um, but i'm going to change it to i don't know this light red color just for the sake of this tutorial it's sort of like brown really um, and then the hit area is the area that is pressable now this is completely invisible so if you want it to be a real troll you could make it like we could make this really small and then they can only press on that tiny bit but that's really annoying so what we're actually going to do is make it slightly larger because um, you know a bit bigger means it's easier to press on um, and now if we go on the scene one or click double click on this gray area we go back and here is our button. And if we press control enter to test, you'll notice that when my mouse goes over, it changes color. And then when I click it, it changes again. Um, and the click area, if you watch right where my mouse is touching is actually slightly larger than the box itself, making it a bit more user friendly. Um, there you go, that's how you make a button. Uh, the next thing we're gonna show you how to do is how to make a movie clip. So generally, uh, if you wanna make an object move around using motion tweens, or if you wanna create animation inside an object, you would use a movie clip. Um, and there's another tutorial on how to make sort of animated movie clips. So I'm just going to show you how to make a static one. So we might make a circle here like this. Um, and then we're just going to highlight it, right click, convert to symbol. And this time we're going to choose movie clip. And we're going to call it ball MC because it's a movie clip. Press OK. Um, and you can tell that it is a movie clip. And if you go to the library, the next button has a little picture of a hand pressing a button. Whereas the movie clip has this little cog. Um, and that's how you can tell the difference in your library. Although on your stage, they look pretty much the same. However, if I was to double click it, you'll notice that instead of getting the up, down, over and hit option, I get another new timeline, um, which is where I can do animation, um, which um, is pretty simple to do. If I wanted to make it um, move slightly, I could just go F6 and I could move it a little bit. And then you can see I've got two frames of animation, um, but that's not really the most useful uh, thing in the world. Um, although if I went back here and had a look at it, press control enter, you can see it's moving backwards and forwards forever uh, because it's animating. There you go. Um, that's buttons and movie clips, uh, the simple version. There's a more complex version um, if you want to look at it in more detail. Thanks for watching.